Hi guys, Todd here. Tonight we're going to be having a look at, I'm um, starting already, the Squonky. Uh, yes, a dripper called the Squonky, which is a stroke of genius in my opinion, um, because if you can't guess what it's for already, then um, you should be subscribed to uh, somebody else. Um, Stackwam and Sunbox got together and uh, came up with this little guy here. Uh, obviously there's a hole in the bottom so that when you squonk it just goes up and into the deck. Um, there's a few strange, th not strange, but different things going on here. Uh, yeah, we'll cover all that in the close-ups and at the end. Um, this is about 120 euros you're going to pay for this and you can get it from various places. The links will all be in the description as always. Uh, the advertising for this was um, I don't know if it was madness or a stroke of genius. Uh, this is actually the, the poster that went out everywhere and it's just... <laughs> I love the fact that they just... It, it wasn't an atty, it was a it was a thing, it was a real thing with a name, uh, which is great. Anyway, uh, that's... Um, I, yes. These things make me laugh. I'm sorry. Um, that's it. Close-ups. My uh, squonky arrived in a little plastic case like this which keeps everything safe and tidy. Uh, it also came with a couple of spare o-rings and a couple of spare terminal screws as well. Now I've broken this down, taken it to bits completely just to show you everything that you need to know. Um, so we're going to start with uh, the very bottom here and uh, there you go, you can see you've got a couple of o-rings here that are going to hold the top cap on in place. It does actually underneath all that e like would say squonky and there is an insulator that sits inside here see what I've done with it and boink in she goes now decision times times? time, decision time now oops just making a break for it you get uh, two uh, sorry I'm just going to focus there two positive pins now depending on your coiling abilities uh, if you consider yourself to be a bit of an expert then can I suggest that you just stick with the one that's in it that doesn't have the split if you're not a dab hand with the old coiling malarkey then go for this one that has the split in there so that you can pass your positive wires through there and it holds them in place and there you can see the little hole there that's where your juice comes through so I'm just going to drop that boink, down in there just now now unlike a normal squonking atomizer or any atty uh, this isn't your deck, this is your deck here. Uh, this bit at the bottom is actually like a reservoir, uh, which is a bit strange for a squonking atty, or I find it strange. Uh, but basically this just pops on over there like so, and there you go. So your coils are going to sit on this piece here, and the cotton is going to feed down into that bottom section. Uh, so, yeah, it's, it's a bit unusual uh, for a squonking atomizer, but I'll take this other insulator here and just drop that down. Now, for those of you that uh, go out and buy this, you might find that um, your deck's not exactly tight and it moves. Um, well, I'll show you how to tighten that up. But uh, this little insulator here, is, it actually appears to be threaded. Uh, so I'm just going to thread that down like so. You'll find you'll get to a point where it just everything stop, starts spinning. Um, you then have this nut here, uh, which I'm just going to pop on the top of here. And then we'll screw that right down. Screw, thread even. Now, still finding that this is spinning round. What to do now is actually put it on a mod. And you'll find that you can start spinning that round. And just by... I'm just putting my fingers on the the positive, the, sorry, the negative posts here, and just spinning that, and it, and it is actually tightening it off. If you want, you can get a pair of needle nose pliers and give the the nut there a couple of turns as well if you want. Uh, but however you tighten it up, make sure that once you're done, you want to see how there's the the gap there, and the positive post. You want that to be just lined up like that. You don't want it squint makes it a lot easier when you're putting it all together. Uh, you then have uh, this nut here, which I'm not going to put on right at this second. So here's the top cap. Uh, see, it's got this 
bit going on here. It's a strange looking thing this. Because of that reservoir in the bottom, it's just really, really strange. Uh, but you can just pop that on there like so. And you can see you've got two air slots going on here. You've then got your airflow control ring, which has uh, three holes and three slots in it, so you can do it dual or single. And that just slides over there, like that. Now this all turns freely, it's, it's, it's well put together. Uh, we have this little Dellen drip tip here that uh, if you want to do a bit of the old uh, lung action, you've got this wide board drip tip going on here. Or you have this threaded piece here again, which you can just put on like so. And it's a 510 adapter. Now I've actually found that they have been vaping with this. Because uh, for whatever reason I don't find this gets really, really hot, this Atty. Um, it's quite good that way. Now to build on this, uh, you've got your two negative posts here uh, and you can see there's a little gap under each one so this screw will screw up and reveal a gap here pass your wire under there and it will trap it by screwing this back down. Now if you use the, um, the other positive post, the one without the, the split in it it can be a bit of a bugger to coil on. Uh, because you have to get your, your two wires um, underneath this nut and I, I must admit that uh, what I was doing was I was taking my wire and wrapping it round when I did one coil, do the other coil, wrap it round and spin this down then I would find that it would distort the coil and, and it would just went all peat tong and hor horribly wrong uh, what I found the easiest thing to do was was I actually cut the legs of my coils quite short so that they just touched against the positive post didn't wrap them round or anything like that and it worked really well I didn't have any issues but um, I do find this the easiest way to build on this now when coiling this you, you could leave that top nut off or, or put it on uh, it's, it's really entirely up to you uh, whatever you find easiest but um, I'll just put it on and just leaving it like that so what I'm going to do is take my coil and I'm just going to pass one wire through the centre there and the other wire is going to get trapped underneath there, hopefully you can see that ok now I'd strongly suggest that you make sure that you get that coil pushed over before you start tightening that screw down uh, for that post I'm actually getting my other rod here so that I can actually make sure that it's pushed over because you want it halfway between those two bits that the cotton are going to go down so I'm just making sure that's pushed over you see they've got the wire underneath there pull my rod out and there we go so that will actually push over a wee bit further in a second uh, I'm just going to snip the wire off at the back here I'm also going to take this wire and just push it to the side just now just so it doesn't get in the way of building here now I've got my coils in there uh, and I've put some cotton through and I've got a lot more cotton than I would normally use in a dripper like uh, a squonking atomizer but we're going to feed it down into that deck so I'm just popping it down there just now just let's get all that tucked down in there out of the way there's a fair old size of deck down there uh, not deck but the uh, reservoir if you like uh, that's my cotton going in. I'm not worried about what it looks like in there. Now, uh, you want your cotton to, remember it's got to sit in those four slots. It's probably easier. I just get it located just in place just now. There we go. Same with this one. And the same with this one. Right, and now I'm going to put some liquid on this just to get everything the way I want it. So there we go, that's me juiced up and uh, raring to go. Now one thing I'm going to point out here before I put this top cap on, uh, the wire I'm using 27 gauge, um, now I take the wire underneath here um, I have found that, uh, and I'll cover this later when we go back up top, with 27 gauge it's actually found it easier to take the wire underneath the screw head itself rather than underneath here because sometimes the wire just got spat out sometimes when I put the wire underneath the screw head um, 
it spits it out as well. It's it's very very inconsistent. When you put your wire through here or under there, you have to make sure you're pulling it tight when you're actually screwing this down. And now because uh, I am in dual coil, uh, once again, make sure to take a, a look at this deck and see how it's going to work. You know, you don't want your cotton all beefed out here or it'll just stop this top cap going down. Uh, also make sure you don't have any wire sticking out at the ends of the negatives here or it'll stop the top cap going down. And that's me. And there you have it. The up close and personal. Uh, now I've been putting uh, 2.5 2.5 inner diameter uh, coils with um, 27 gauge in there. Uh, I have been able to put in a 3 mil inner diameter coil in there, but once again with the uh, 27 gauge. Um, I think if you were going for the chunkier wire, it would definitely have to be uh, two and a half mil inner diameter. Uh, anyway, the you really want to be careful because remember, because it's such a, a small chamber in there uh, when you put that top cap down you do not want it touching uh, you know the coils uh, right uh, 28 watts on a 0 0.5 ohm coil no two ways about it the flavour from this thing is Tremendous. I love the flavour from this thing. I, I rate this so highly on the flavour scale. I've said before in the past that uh, between a lot of atties on the market and whatnot, when you say that something's awesome and something's okay, there, there's not that much really in the grand scheme of things between them. Um, this really is very, very good on the flavour front. Um, you can run it in single coil, dual coil, you can mouth to lung it, you can adjust the airflow right down and you can do a mouth to lung with this. Uh, the reservoir thing is strange. Um, for me, I don't personally um, don't see the need for it. Um, I know that, right, okay, for me, the bottle, uh, this is the Art and Mod Dia, uh, the bottle in my squonker is my reservoir. I don't necessarily see the point in having the reservoir up here as well. I, I just don't. Um, at first I thought that, you know, this atty suffered for it because it looks bloody strange. Um, but now I think it's as cute as a button and I'm used to the look of it and I actually really like the look of it. It's good. You, don't, you, actually, you don't have to squonk as much. Because you've got so much cotton going into that reservoir, you know you can do a good long squonk in your bottle. Just push there, fill that with juice, and you get a lot longer vaping out of it than you normally would. It's just alien for me when it comes to squonking. Um, I, I, I personally, and uh, I'm not really a fan of that. Uh, I, I I would forgo that uh, and just have a. Yeah, I would forgo that. Uh, but that, that's just my take on it. Um, drip tip. Uh, I do like using the Delrin drip tip. I like to vape it wide open, this thing. Um, but it just suits me just now. You can get a comfortable lung hit from this. You will. Um, and and absolutely everything about this is two thumbs up. Um, it, it is it's two thumbs up. Until you get to the deck. The deck. The deck sucks balls. <laughs> it just sucks balls. Oh man. Right. The two negative posts. Okay. Um, so there's a, a, a gap underneath that you can pass the wire through and there's a screw up the top. Now using thinner wire like 27 gauge, uh, you're probably better taking it round the screw head at the top. Taking it underneath, um, well it doesn't matter, whatever way you take it. 27 gauge, um, I found that unless you p you're pulling the wire tight in there when tightening the screw down, it gets spat back out every single bloody time. Um, this is 
not since the Cobra um, many many moons ago have I been so frustrated with a deck than this um, and that's going back a long time into Genesis and hotspots and whatnot. Um, just the wire constantly getting spat out has just been a oh god man the positive post when I first got the Atty I thought the positive post was was a weak point um, but it's not it, it's actually very very easy um, you know if you use the, the split positive post you know you can just pass the wire through and everything's easy it's really really easy even if you do, don't use the split post um, I found the easiest way to rather than using a long bit of wire wrapping it around the positive post then going and doing the other coil wrapping it around I just found just having a short leg resting against the positive post go and do the other coil exact same tighten it down dead dead easy um, so what I thought was going to cause me the grief didn't but the negative posts no, just no. Um, thicker wire, it just it seems to be fine. But in saying that, with the thicker wire, if you use just a fraction too much force, I'm finding that the the tab, well, just say that's your negative there, and the wire goes under there, and the screw goes in there. If you put too much pressure on the screw, I'm finding that this tab here is slowly lifting up, and I'm having to bend it back down. And I am not heavy handed and I'm getting that issue with it. For me as a whole, I I would I would tell you if you're a Squonkin fan and you love flavour, I mean you really love the flavour from the Atty, I would say go and buy this. If you if you're okay with the look of it, uh, I would say go and buy it. It's awesome. Um but for me the deck is is flawed. It's just flawed, and and that's my take on it. It's not easy for me to do this, um, but not to do this. But you know, I like the Statcom guys. I love Chris. Uh, I think he's brilliant. He sends me chocolate when he sends me a device to review. He sends me chocolate. I'm a fat bastard. You're guaranteed a good review if you send me chocolate. Most of the time, I'm only kidding. Uh, and and that's why it's kind of hard this one because I I really wish I could just give it ten out of ten. But I can't because of that deck. That's just my take on it. That's just my take on it. There might, there's, there's other people there that have got it. You can go on to the Squonky uh, Facebook group. Uh, talk to other people and see what they think. Uh, but for me, sorry. I just hope they tweak it. I just hope they tweak it. But that's my take on it. Guys, as always, thank you for watching. We'll catch you next time. Bye now.